Okay, so here we've got one of our 16 mil MDF sheets. This is uh, 1800 by 600 mil. We have two of these uh, for the sides, and then we've got three 900 by 1800 uh, sheets um, for the back and the top. So first of all, we're going to uh, trace out our design, which we'll add down below all the measurements that we're going to use. We'll go from there. Okay, so I finally finished cutting all the pieces. It took a while, but um, we got there. Um, so now I'm just gonna put them all together. So here's the cabinet all fully built with the screen installed. Now you'll be able to see that we've got these screws screwed in, holding in all the front panels, and they're actually slightly recessed inside. So when we come to paint, we'll be able to fill this up with bog, sand it off, and you won't even know there's screws there. At the moment, we haven't actually got the rear screwed in, so we can still access it while we're building it. Also know too, that we've actually got roughly about a 15 to 20 mil lip going all the way around on both sides. Now, to us, this just made it have a cooler effect. And because we weren't using a router to square off the edges, it just made it have that little nicer finish. Now, the screws we've used are only countersunk wood screws of approximate 25 mil length. Now it's important to note when doing the screen cutout, you want to make sure you do it small enough that the screen goes all the way to the edges and you do not see actually any bezel of the monitor. Next we'll show you how to install the screen plus some undermount speakers. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.